Hi, Chad Grant, Executive Chef at Aperitif Restaurant and Bar. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys a little inside look at how we take care of our swordfish when it comes in. Now this is a section of swordfish that uh, probably covers not even a third of the fish. This is a very large animal, probably weighs anywhere from 200 to 250 pounds in total. We get a section of the, uh, of the back here and what we do when it comes into our kitchen is we, you know, have to cut it up for service. Now we have a lot of different uh, parts of this that we can utilize and it's very good meat. This is all really good, nice quality meat here, but what we're mainly after is this center loin right here and right here. That's what we call the eye of swordfish and it's the most tender and most quality portion of the meat. Now we have a section that runs along here that goes towards the back of the fish and really easy. Um, you know, we're probably not going to have a lot of people that go and purchase a large piece of meat like this or have uh, Japanese sashimi knives at home that they can actually break something like this down. But a lot of people ask me sometimes, what do you do with the fish? How big is it? And uh, how do you get these cuts? So really simple, we just find the seam here and then we just make one cut right down like that and you open it up once and if you're going to be cutting fish like this, it's really important to have a really, really sharp knife because the more you gouge at it, you'll tear up the overall product. We don't want that. So you open it once and then you make your next cut be the last one that you're going to have to do as far as the meat goes. Now what you have, swordfish has a really nice uh, soft skin so you can go just along where you cut. Go one more time and what we do with this, we'll take care and we'll use that for other things later. And then what I like to do, I usually have two knives here because this is a big piece of meat. I'll cut it right down the middle here just for accuracy here and precision because you really want to now what this is here is the bloodline the spine of the fish runs down here and it has a really dark color on the meat now contrary to popular belief this does not have a fishier flavor it just doesn't really look that good but what we're gonna do is make one incision down the side there and then this is where experience comes in where I take the and then you get down on this side of the bloodline and you kind of roll it back like this and then you can take a couple nice swipes at it like that and then there we have it. That is the equivalent to the filet mignon off of a fish. And then what you want to do here, especially for service, and now this does not taste bad, but it does, it, it's offensive to look at. So really thin, you just want to go across and remove it. You don't have to get all of it, but you know, it's it turns people off when they see that. So that would be what I consider to be ready to cut. And now when we cut this, we just go right down and then cut it into nice eight ounce portions. And then from there we can, uh, this goes into the vacuum sealer and then we cook it on our line and it's beautiful fresh swordfish. Uh, comes from, this in particular is coming off the coast of uh, Costa Rica and it's a very meaty fish. It's got a stronger, little bit stronger flavor than most white fleshy fish, but it is a, a, it's got a high fat content, it cooks really well, it's very nice meaty flavorful fish, and uh, that's, that's where the center of all the quality of the swordfish comes from.